welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in and watching another video introduction i just want to say once again thank you so much to my new subscribers and obviously to everyone that has been subscribed thank you so much for supporting i highly appreciate it and i absolutely love you guys just before i get into the video guys you know what to do hit the subscribe button and like comment and share and if you've got anything interesting to say get in the comment below and hit me up or you can hit me up on my social media you can follow me while i'm most active which is instagram and snapchat what i want to talk about today guys i haven't exactly put the title together but it was really boggling on my mind and i was just like you know what let's talk about it i want to talk about things to avoid or things not to do or things that you could do that will break up your relationship very quickly. So it's just a few things that I've been thinking about, a few things that I've experienced myself, a few things that I feel like a lot of people do go through. Okay, so the first thing that I would say to avoid doing, um, and this is way before you actually commit yourself to a relationship, is actually to not go into it with a mindset that that person is going to hurt you. What do I mean by that? So a lot of people are broken. A lot of people, especially in our generation are um, have gone through really hard breakups um, a lot of people are standoffish a lot of people are like this basically like don't come too close like I'm gonna keep you at arm's length and if you do anything wrong you straight out of the door it's so hard it's extremely hard in these streets a lot of the time people carry that into their relationships like before it even jets off like they're already like on standby like ready to quit you know before it even starts and that's a really 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 um bad mindset to go into relationship with and it's actually a very toxic mindset it's extremely hard these days you know to find people that are genuine people that are committed people that understand love and people that are ready to sacrifice because we've got to remember love is not emotional love is sacrificial love is putting yourself on the line love is putting the other person first it's about we it's not about an i and it's very hard for people to actually live like that that wherever your mind is that's how you're going to view that relationship how you're going to see that relationship and it's how you're going to maintain that relationship if you buy something that's very expensive that you value a lot you're going to look after that thing like really look after that thing but if you buy something you're like oh yeah i can just buy another one tomorrow or you know i can just um get the same one or get something similar you're not going to value it as much you're not going to hold it or treasure it as much it's exactly the same with relationships so that's the first thing that i would avoid and that's the first thing that i would say i mean i've personally done it before myself where i've been like you know what i've been hurt before so i've created literally barriers <clears throat> and i've made it difficult for the other significant other to try and you know to break those barriers down and to be honest it can get very tiring it can get tiring for the other person and it gets tiring for it gets tiring for you as well so it makes the relationship very jarring the second thing that i would say to avoid doing is expectation i'm just speaking from experience like this is personally like what i've seen what i've experienced mistakes that i've made we can have extremely high expectation like especially in this day and age like you've got girls that are want to be so bougie they want to be so prim and proper they want to be treated like queens and princesses you know they want this they want that like and you have you set yourself these high expectations and you have to ask yourself first of all like everything that i'm expecting from that other person can i deliver like can i deliver that you know am i all that am i all that and a bag of chips like am i am i am i the best bread since sliced toast like am i the best dish like am i am i just am i that and you have to be really really honest with yourself and i feel like a lot of people come into relationship with these high expectation and they're like oh you need to be able to do this for me or you need to be able to do that or you need to do this and you need to do that for me for me for me and all of it is about me people don't go into the mindset with 
what can I make what can I do to make that person's life a better quality what can I bring to that person's life like people don't go into relationship thinking how can I make your life easier people go into relationship thinking what can I gain from you and I feel like that's one of the biggest mistakes because you have these high expectations and when the person don't deliver you're like you're 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 not good you're not good enough you know you're not good enough for me or you're not delivering me or like you're not you're not giving me what i need therefore there's the door like do you know what i mean and i feel like it's a very bad attitude to have towards relationships because relationship is not about what can i get from you relationships actually should be about how can i make your life easier you know like how can i support you how can i be your help me how can i push you to your next level like how can i how can i help to build you up like if you've got a if you've got a business or if you're passionate about something i'm gonna be your number one supporter yeah i'm gonna be like your cheerleader i'm gonna be there to like push you to you know push you all the way like that's how it should be i'm with you for who you are not what you are does that make sense i'm with you because you're a kind person i'm with you because there's something about you that I like we connect like we just we just like click in it like we get on like there's parts of you that make me a better person you know if we have that kind of like mentality then I think we would have longer lasting relationships the third thing that I would say as well things like mistakes to avoid or things to avoid is communication communication has literally been one of my biggest struggles I'm not even gonna lie guys like I cannot even lie like first of all yeah when I meet somebody first of all I can't do these I text you and then eight hours later you reply back to me like that's already a red flag like that's already like a no-no you have to learn to communicate like in a way where the, that person your significant other will be able to understand like not in a way that you will deal with it or you will be able to understand it's the way that I'm communicating is it effective communication for that person to understand like does, can that person relate to what I'm saying does that make sense like I feel like a lot of the time yeah people people tend to to be like yeah but this is me like this is me this is how I talk like this is how I am so why don't the person understand it's like it's not about how you talk like everybody everybody receives differently and everybody reflects differently does that make sense so you ha communication is it's a thing where you have to learn it you know it's not a thing where you come in your set ways like the way you communicate the way you understand or the way that you receive and give like no it's something that you have to learn like how does that person communicate if you don't have good communication like you're not going nowhere like you you're really not going anywhere because you're constantly going to misunderstand each other and misunderstanding is just one of the one of the biggest thieves <laughs> teeth <laughs> one of the biggest thieves like seriously because something would just translate yeah and before it gets that other person miss miss um what's the what's it called again misunderstanding will just come and pyong, just take that message yeah and just twist it turn it do all of that backflips and overthink yeah and by the time it gets to you it's like chinese whispers you would have heard something else i said i want to go out to eat all you heard is why do i always have to pay when we go out to eat with communication yeah you need to you need to like be patient like you need to learn patience and i feel like it's one of them things where it will teach you patience like patience is a fruit in it patience is something that you it needs to grow like it needs to it needs to be watered like it need, it's something that you you build up do you get what i mean like a lot of people don't have patience and it's a fruit like it's a characteristic it's one of them things where communication will teach you patience because you might say something once twice three times and the other person just don't get it but instead of you to be like okay let me just try and change the way that i say it you want to give up and be like oh that person like you think like you don't understand what i'm saying like it's just not working out with the communication is just not there and i feel like that's just one of the biggest 
thieves and one of the biggest mistakes like that we can do is not learn proper communication not be patient and just yeah like and just like take it for granted like it's such a big spectrum it just covers like so many different aspects because there's verbal communication non-verbal communication you know like I, I might communicate like with my body language but if you don't understand my body language like if you don't learn it if you don't take your time to be observant and learn my body language then we're not going to be able to effectively understand each other and another thing that I would say as well which is a massive relationship killer is um, being indecisive I feel like in our day and age like a lot of people are just indecisive period like one minute they're on it the next minute they're not on it one minute they want you the next minute they don't want you one minute they want a relationship the next minute they don't want a relationship you need to be decisive you need to know what you want in life you need to know where you're going you need to know um how you want to get there some people want to get married how are you going to get towards marriage if you're so easily swayed then you don't know what you want you're easily swayed like um either by another person like that walks past and you're just like oh wow like that person's actually nice or you easily sway because you get into an argument with your significant other and they really annoy you so you're just like oh no you're not the one for me then you're just not ready you're indecisive like you're just indecisive about your decisions like you know you're swayed by your emotions like your decisions are emotional emotionally based like that's not somebody that is secure that's not somebody that is um stable so that's somebody that is not ready for commitment guys like let me tell you yeah i'm not even gonna lie to you i was so indecisive like period like i was indecisive like even when it came to like food yeah take me to a buffet because when you go to a buffet you don't have to choose a menu you everything is there for you Take me to somewhere where I have to look at a menu, pick what I want to eat. I could be there looking at this menu for 30 minutes before I decide. It's better for you just to pick for me what I should eat. <laughs> because we just be there all day long. I was so madly indecisive. It was crazy. But I learned that in relationships, yeah, to one of the biggest mistakes is to come in with an indecisive heart that means that you're going to be wishy-washy you're going to be up and down you're going to um walk in and out and you're not going to really build a secure foundation which is what you need to do if the foundation is destroyed what can the righteous do you need to be able to build a strong foundation a solid foundation and you're not going to do that being indecisive you, you know a, being double minded the thing is yeah like if you're going to be indecisive the minute that person does something to annoy you or the minute that person does something that you think oh oh like you're gonna be like bye like goodbye kind of thing and yeah you're just gonna find yourself in a repetitive cycle where you're just gonna never be satisfied basically pride hmm that word with a capital p yeah guys let me get closer to you guys Pride comes before the fall and it's no lack. I understand, yeah, people want to keep their egos, you know, people want to, people don't want to get mugged off, basically, yeah. People don't want to be treated like crust, okay. They don't want to be treated like crust, okay. They want to keep their egos, they want to protect themselves. But you can't go into relationship with pride, do you understand? Because what that will mean is that it will cause so much problems you're constantly going to be on the edge like you're constantly going to be like no i need to show you who's boss like i need to show you who, who owes who like i need to show you like you can't mug me off like being humble does not make you silly like it doesn't make you an idiot it doesn't make you it doesn't make you a mug when you drop down your pride yeah you're saying i'm giving myself to this because i believe in it and i'm trusting in what i believe in and i'm trusting that whatever i put my heart to it will come like i will make it like i will do this like you're going in there with faith you can't mix faith and pride together faith says that i will put all my all in and i know and i believe that it's going to be okay pride will say I will put part of myself in, I'll put half of my foot in 
and if you even take if you even put a foot out of place yeah i'm going to show you who's who and i'm going to try and take control of the situation i feel like that's one of the hardest thing for people is to actually let go of their pride like let go of their ego and actually be like do you know what i'm actually going to let god take control of my relationship if it's your investment like okay if you invest a million pounds into something you're not going to put one foot in or one foot out. Do you know what I mean? Because that's your whole one million that you've put in there. You're going to be in the center of that deal because you're gonna be, and you're gonna make sure that that deal is a done deal. Does that make sense? That you're gonna be like, whatever you need to do, you're gonna put your full commitment into it. You're gonna put your all into it because that's your whole investment. Like, you might, it might have taken you like a whole lifetime to say that one million or that million might have been an inheritance that you've had you know so that means something significant to you you're going to put your whole in 100 percent in there why can't you do that for a relationship what is the difference because it's an investment it's an investment for your future because out of that relationship guys you've got to think out of that union out of that unity out of that relationship it's going to be branched you're going to have children you're going to leave a legacy like you're going to like so many good things are going to come out of it but yet people mismanage it and mishandle it like it's just anything like it's just like the um like it's like the least of the most important things when it's not when it's one of the most important things do you get what i mean because you've got to remember one can chase ten thousand but two can chase ten thousand iron sharpens iron like we need people like we need each other do you get what i mean but we have such a bad mentality like i don't know if it's just like young people or if it's just like everybody but we have such a bad mentality like towards each other like towards relationships like and it's so so sad like it's just so sad like it just it, honestly like it just makes me so sad because i just think that is that's that's the original intention like that's god's original intention like god's original plan is that unity is that bond like is that love like that real real sacrificial love the enemy is like taking that away from us like so swiftly like so like it's nothing and we're just there like like do you get what i mean and it's like i feel like it's about time we open our eyes yeah and i know it's hard because a lot of the time we get hurt we get into relationship we get hurt we get heartbroken one of the things that i've learned about breakups is that that relationship was not there to destroy you that relationship was only there just to build you even more like just to bring out that love like even more some people that love is in there it's just hidden like it's just drowned like it's buried so many people like do you have that love but it's like so buried like so deep inside and it might take a few um breakups like it might take a few heartbreak and i feel like a lot of people they just like don't know like they don't know that how much they're valued or like how much they're loved or how much like how much your um like you're priceless you're so much more than that breakup like do you get me like a lot of people like carry that and breakups can come with so much like shame and hate and bitterness and anger and all of that stuff and sometimes people you know blame themselves my mindset has like changed so much when it comes to breakups now and i'm like listen if we were together and we broke up you're not even my ex like you're my friend like i don't do exes anymore like you're you're we're friends like there's no reason as to why we need to be enemies things happen things don't work out let's keep it moving but you know what kudos to you i'm happy for you i want to see you win and I, I hope that you want to see me win as well that's how it should be like you know we should be learning off each other like because i feel like it's just it creates so much hatred and hatred and so much bitterness and anger like it's unnecessary like it's unnecessary stress be happy do you know what i mean like be happy because if if you were not for that person that person was not for you the Bible says, can, can two walk together unless they agree? If you don't agree yet, if you've not been agreeing, you, you will not succeed. You will not be able to literally walk together, meaning build a life together. Be strong, like, no, discover, like, no 
who you are and love who you are and that's what i want to say with this video know who you are and love who you are like be happy like be intentional about being happy as well do you know what i mean like be intentional about being happy like do things that make you happy be think do things that satisfy you because sometimes that's another thing that like you go into a relationship with a void yeah that's one of the biggest mistakes we do as well you go into a relationship with a void inside of you excuse me you know like people go into a relationship yeah with voids inside of them and you're looking for something to fill that void babe and no one is going to be able to do that and that's one of the biggest mistakes that we're expecting that person to be that thing that is missing inside of us don't go into a relationship being broken because when you go into a relationship being broken you lose you know you down you downplay your value see with me yeah like for example if i love something like my car for example yeah i've sold two of my cars already i loved my cars okay but when i went to sell my cars i was like listen yeah i'm gonna put some value on that car and if you want to buy that car you need to cash up even though people were just like why are you gonna sell it for that much you're gonna sell it for that much but i put value on that car so when people will come to me and they try to be like oh yeah i want to buy it for this amount i'm like eh are you mad like i would rather keep my car thank you and that's the same thing like, you need to put value on yourself so when you go into that relationship yeah you go in there with that value you're just like you know what if you do not understand my value then we're not going to understand each other period it's not about being cocky it's not about being like you know oh i'm all done in a bag of chips or whatever no it's about being confident and it's about being humbly confident like it's about being confident in, like who you are what you bring to the table like we're not coming to the table with you know like um i'm only gonna put 15 i'm coming to the table with 100 that's how you need to carry yourself it makes me sad yeah when when girls feel like oh i'm just not good enough for that person or like oh i can never be that person or like oh no like or they that they overcompensate do you get what i mean like in a relationship like you overcompensate like you want to do everything for that person and that person yeah you know that person is not even for you 100 like you know that person like is out there cheating on you doing all of that when i hear things like people are okay with their man's cheating on them or you know they're, they're like okay with their man misbehaving i'm like <sighs> babe like you're beautiful like you're amazing like now that i've got a daughter yeah i'm just like are you okay like when you carry somebody for nine months yeah and you raise that person and that person has put you through all these crying nights and all of these things yeah and you want somebody to come in eh bruv like you better go in there knowing who you are like do you understand that like, you better go in there knowing that i'm a boss chick like i'm coming with everything that i have and i'm confident with what i'm bringing to the table and if it doesn't satisfy you it's okay like do you know what i mean like if it doesn't satisfy you like it's okay you know there's no beef no wahala like nothing like we're good we're good and it's not carrying that bitterness like and there's good expectation and there's bad expectation i'm not saying don't go into a relationship without any expectation guys we always need to have expectation but it's when you go in there expecting somebody to fill a void that's in you that that person it's not made to feel i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope that i made sense in this whole video i'm so passionate about literally because i feel so like something just jukes me like yeah but one thing that i love that god's done with me like the work that god's done in me is that regardless to what i've been through like regardless to relationships that i've not made it like i've not put myself in a place where i'm like no like no like no nobody come close to me like because that's not a good mindset to have like it's really not a good mindset to have it's different to be like you know what i want to work on myself and i want to be single and i just want to like discover myself um that's different to being like i can't trust all men are the same like men are trash like, da, 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 da. like all that rubbish talk yeah you just you're just cheering on what the devil's work basically and i just feel like it's just not necessary and it's wrong but anyway guys i'm gonna love you and leave you
subscribe don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever i post a next video and i'll see you guys in my next video